the American dream. A house, a garage, a car, two and a half kids, a dog, and of course a white picket fence. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. You know, there's just something about creating a sense of enclosure, even with a little cottage out here in the country. Maybe even more so, it keeps varmints out. But this is really more for looks. It just adds such a charm factor. So look at these pickets across the front. What we did is we took a one by four board and split it down the middle and then did this notched top on it. You can see right here with just a little triangulation with just a little bit of it, not too sharp of a point. And these pickets are actually three feet tall. And just under them, well, there's a gap of two and a half inches down there. So you go, how do you come up with that number, this height? Well, it feels good from here. You have to understand this house was built on a slope and you have a very busy farm road here in front. So in order to give some privacy, what I wanted to do was to create a wall, if you will, in this case, a brick base and a picket fence. And we are actually three feet, almost three and a half feet above the level of the house itself up here. So we had to cut down and level this courtyard area. And now what I'm doing is I'm finishing it off with this picket fence. Now the height, let's go back to that for just a minute because it's very important. Because for me as a designer, it's all about the view. So let's go over here on the front porch and I'll show you what I mean. So you see, it's really all about what you see from here. Now eventually I'm not gonna be seeing all this equipment, but the view, the borrowed view, that's what's so important here. Now you can see the road where I was standing just a moment ago. And the idea is sitting on the front porch, you could sit here and look out across that beautiful paddock. And in the spring, it's loaded with daffodils. And you look up at those two big trees and beyond the sky and all this big blue sky. But I wanted enough picket fence along there so that you wouldn't see the actual gravel road itself. So it was a compromise. It could have come down a little more from this perspective, from where I'm sitting here on the porch. But if I'd done that, it would have been a really tiny fence across the front and that would have looked small. So three feet for the picket was what I decided on with two and a half inches below. And then it was important to get the proportions of the posts themselves right. So why don't we take a look at those? So just now, the posts are being braced. Well, at least these two posts here, because what will happen, there's gonna be a handrail that will come down to this post, but the mud is setting up around it. But let's go back to the proportions of these posts. What I wanted to do here on the corner post or the main post was use a five inch treated post. These treated posts will last up to 50, 40 to 50 years. And then use treated lumber all the way along here, along this rail, back to a five foot post here, and then this middle post is a smaller post, which is only three and a half inches. We use two befores on the top and bottom rail, and they're cut on a slight bevel to shed water, which hopefully will add longevity to their existence out here. Now, whether it's raining or not, we just keep pushing along. It's actually a great day to be working. If you're enjoying these updates on how our landscape project's coming along, make sure you subscribe to eHow Home and tell a friend about it.